I'm gonna try and get a little bit of video without my shadow in it too much. This car is gorgeous. Like new is not. There's nothing like new. But this thing's as close as you're gonna find. It is a sweet 2000 Chevy Impala. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And I'm out here by the highway. Beautiful night. Is that an actual cop car that's in service? No way. No more Crown Vicks around. Beautiful day in the valley. And it's time for to look at this 2000 Chevrolet Impala. One thing you really notice about this color is it really looks different in the direct sunlight than it looks in the evening time. I mean, it's a gold, gold, gold right now. Beautiful color either way, but I wanted to get another shot of it in the direct sunlight because it sure does look different. I don't know which way I like it better, to be honest. It's super clean. Whoever had this took care of it, and it's clean. I'm gonna go around real quick, show you around it, then I'll go up close and show you any problems, damages, and such. It's a little loud with the highway. Hopefully it quiets down. It's not where I wanted to be, but it's the way it happened. Clean car. All I did was wash this thing off. That's it. Just wash it off and vacuum it. Clean. Um, you want to go for a full detail? Probably be looking even a little bit better. Look at this thing. Clean. And now I'm going to go just around it, show you any dings, dents, damages, and such. Nathan, 406-546-8748. Call anytime. There is minor stuffs, chips and stuff, just from age, nothing too serious. Little tiny chips. Rub, rub there, that'd buff out. I didn't even buff it, look I'm buffing it now. Jeez, should have buffed that. That's what I'm saying, we didn't do anything to it. A couple light scuffs. And this stuff, a lot of it would buff out. I did not polish the car. A little rub there. A little rub there. That'd come right off, probably. And that's down this side. Pretty clean. Pretty clean indeed. <laughs> um, sure is different having it on this type rather than like a 1996. Roof and everything clean. All the trim, all the rubber moldings, great condition. All this trim, great condition. And hubcaps, great condition. That reminds me right here. They scuffed it just a little bit on that trim. And these tires, they have to be replaced. You got dry rot in a couple of them. And they're gonna need to be replaced. It rolls down the road now, but that'll be a disclaimer on this. We'll Something on it there. Oh, that's like from one of the bumper stickers. The guy had bumper stickers all over it. A little residue there, there. Light chips and such. And one, that's the biggest thing on the car right there. It's not that big, but it's there. Underneath it, clean, clean, clean. And yeah, more little scuffs, little chippy chips. Nothing serious, just the paint. I mean, it's 23 years old. And seriously, buffing this would do such a good. Now, I tell you, I was telling my woman, I don't think I've seen a ding in this car. It's amazing, actually. I do, however, think my kid has turned the light on somehow. Yep, okay. <laughs> And this one. Uh. Hopefully that works. Okay, so that's the outside. Super clean. I already did the motor. I'll throw it in here. And I guess other than that, let's go for a test drive. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the interior first. Look at these door panels. Super clean, look at this. The stuff hasn't even worn off yet. You know how the riding usually wears off? Floors, pedals, absolutely clean. Only 89,000 miles on this rig. Underneath here, clean. Seats are nice, there's no rips and tears. It's got the console. And I'll go over there, there's a speaker 
Mount missing. And back seat, clean. So clean. Okay, I'm gonna try to stop saying clean for the rest of this video. It's not gonna be easy, I tell you. Cause it's clean. Okay, wait till you see this truck. Can you guess what it is? It's clean. Look at that, man. It's gorgeous. I don't even know if the people use this car. I'm getting some pictures here, sorry. Okay. That's the trunk. Here's the other side. Once again, clean. A little chip out of that. I don't know how. And there's a couple on that side that I wanted to show. But other than that, <laughs> clean. I've showed you under the hood. There's the missing speaker grill. Those are cheap on eBay. Um, yeah, I guess I will hit the road now. Warranty books. I like to get the cars in different types of light. As I was walking right here, I seen a tiny ding right there that I didn't see before. It's the only ding I know of. I'm sure there might be another one I'm missing. But, you know, it's a ding here and here. Hard to see. And only in certain lights, but it's there. Pretty sure it's the original key. Starts right up. Oh, squeakage. Oh. A little squeakage on the window. They all work good. Oh, that's good. I think. There we go. 89,618. There'll probably be a few extra on it. Radio works. Um, everything blows fine, but when you put it on five, it shuts off. It's probably a heater blower resistor, or whatever it's called. And I think those are about 20 bucks on eBay. Um, it's a bit chilly out, and it seems to blow cool, but I don't believe it's blowing just as cold as it could. If that makes any sense. I think it needs a little charge or something. Or that blower motor resistor could be holding it back. Nice. These things get pretty good gas mileage. No check engine lights or anything like that. We're good. And I'm going to go down here just about a mile. And this is up to driving speed of 70. Beautiful day in the valley. And I'll tell you, even at slowing down to like, oh, let's slow down to 60. And then getting on it. Plenty of pickup, man. It goes. Shifts when it should, like it should. This is my dad's place. Or I guess you could call it our truck lot. <laughs> we definitely have the trucks up here. We ain't got no room on the other lot. But definitely, if you're calling, looking for a Peterbilt or a Kenworth, we've got three more other than what you've seen there. But this is a cool place. I'll turn around here and we'll get you just a little bit more test drive. You know what? This is as good a place as any to go ahead and end my video. Beautiful car. Very clean. There it is again. Low miles, 89,000. I want to show you a couple more little things on it that I didn't. There ain't nothing bad to say about it besides anything bad I said in the video. Look at this. Every piece of this car. Look at the weather stripping. And I didn't do nothing to this, man. We just, we just washed it. It's just clean. Washed it, wiped it. No, not even. It's just so incredibly clean. All the trim. 
Now we put armor on the tires, and I want to make sure and tell you on the other, on the, um, hang on a sec here. Let me get my thoughts wrapped around my head. I'm popping the hood again. These doors open and close like new. It's amazing. Struts hold the hood perfectly. We did not spray this motor with stuff. Usually I'll spray them down. This thing's so clean. It's pathetic. And look at the front, man. All that stuff's usually a whole different color. Oh yeah, and a tiny scuff on the mirror. And I'm pretty sure there was a tiny scuff on the other side. Tiny, but it's kind of there. That's that. Talk about perfect timing. I left the windows down to where you could hear it hum. Good car. Okay, that's that. Beautiful car. If you're interested, Nathan, 406-546-8748 and oneownercarguy.com. Subscribe on YouTube. There's like 9,000 videos on there, man. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.